right guys, I want to help you graph a nonlinear inequality using WebAssign. So notice this, nonlinear, it is not a line. In this case, I have an x squared, so it is a parabola. It's a parabola that opens up. I do have everything on one side, and I want to graph the part of the parabola that is less than or equal to zero. In other words, all of my y's are below the x-axis. Now I'm using a graphing calculator. I have typed in my inequality. I will graph it. Now you can't see the entire parabola. If I wanted to, I could change my window to see if I can see the vertex. Let's go a little bit lower. I'm going to my window. I'm going to go down to my y minimum. Let's just send it on down to negative 50. Graph it. My parabola crosses at negative 6 and positive 8. Now my original problem said I wanted the values of y that are less than or equal to 0, which means below the x-axis. So it looks like it is going to be from negative 6 to positive 8. It's less than or equal to. So I'm going to use a bracket or some people could use a closed circle. So I will grab the left bracket, get here at negative 6. I have to tell them again to use a left bracket. I'm going to go up to 8. I want the right bracket. And then I'm going to grab my pencil and shade in the middle. Because I wanted the part of my parabola that was less than or equal to. That means the y's are negative below the x-axis. And when I looked at my graph, the part of my parabola that is below is between negative 6 and 8. Okay, our next problem was also a quadratic inequality. We have to do a little bit of work before we can type this into our calculator. It is quadratic, so let's get everything on one side. On the right, I have 0 left. This is what I will type into my graphing calculator. And what answers do I want? I want the y's that are greater than 0. So the y's that are above the x-axis. So I have x squared minus 4x minus 32. I will graph it. Oh, I still have my window from the last time. Although it looks rather pretty. It looks like something's going on at negative 4 and at positive 8. I wanted the part of the parabola that is above 0. I'm going to want any of these x's from negative infinity up to negative 4. This part of the graph is above. And then from 8 on to infinity, this part of the graph is above. Don't use any x's from negative 4 to 8. Because if you do, guess where your parabola is? It's below the x-axis. I wanted the ones that are greater than. I want to pick the x's from negative infinity up to, we said, negative 4. I am using parentheses because I just wanted greater than, not greater than or equal to. Union means I have more answers coming. And it looks like it started again at 8, and it went to positive infinity. How do we put this into WebAssign? I'm going to go to the pointer. I'm going to point to negative 4. What do I want to happen at negative 4? I'm going to have the right parentheses. I'm going to grab my pencil and shade there. That is negative infinity up to negative 4. Grab the pointer again at 8. I'm going to grab the left parentheses, then grab my pencil, tell it to graph. Okay, and I have submitted my answer, and it is correct.